She says, a free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wing in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied. So he opens his throat to sing. The caged bird sings with a fearful thrill of things unknown but longed for still. His tune is heard on the distant hill where the caged bird sings of freedom. The free bird thinks of another breeze and the trade winds soft through the sighing trees and the fat worms waiting on a dawn bright lawn and he names the sky his own. But a caged bird stands on the grave of dreams. His shadow shouts on a nightmare stream. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. The caged bird sings with a fearful thrill of things unknown but longed for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill, for the caged bird sings of freedom. Our hope compels us to sing of freedom. To sing of a Palestine without wars, without violence, without bombs. To sing of a land without walls and checkpoints. A land where a Palestinian child's life is worth just as much as an Israeli child's life. Our hope compels us to sing of a shared land for all. A land that is a beacon of hope to the whole region. A land where both Arabic and Hebrew are spoken and taught freely and creatively. A land where Easter and Passover and Eid al-Fitr are celebrated with joy and laughter and freedom. A land where both Israelis and Palestinians are free to live, to love, free to dance, to sing, to learn, to write, to farm, to hike, to teach, to worship, to feed and be fed. Friends, let's sing of freedom. Amen.